Hello everyone and welcome to Whiskey Wednesday. A slightly more scenic view today, well, not scenic but different. Currently on a little family holiday in uh, Wales, so not the usual location. I'm gonna keep this pretty short today. We're here to do Whiskey of the Year. Now, it was a difficult decision because I'm gonna get the elephant in the room out of the way. There was a 10 this year and it was a 700 pound bottle of Bushmills, which I bought and was delicious, and I will open it on a particularly amazing day in my life. And yeah, it was a 10. But, that doesn't necessarily mean it was the best whiskey for everyone. Now, I have done videos in the past where the most expensive whiskey I reviewed got it. Got 10 out of 10, got whiskey of the year. Not necessarily this year. So, the Bushmills aside, because it's a single cask, it's particularly rare, it's particularly expensive. Um, there were three nine and a halfs this year. But what we're going to do is we're going to get one of the nines out of the way. Uh, I gave Wild Turkey Rare Breed a nine out of ten. And in all honesty, I thought I gave it a nine and a half, but I only gave it a nine. So that comes in fourth place. In third place was a Lock and Dahl single barrel, which I bought from Mark Littler's website. Um, that got a nine and a half out of ten. The most insane peated whiskey I've ever tried in my life. The other nine and a half was a bottle of Willet four-year-old cash strength rye. That was delicious. It was incredible. Um, got a bottle of that and it's pretty much gone now. Um, give that to friends when they come around because it's an amazing example of rye. And number one, the one and only for a lot of us, was indeed Four Roses Single Barrel. Now this is the second bottle of that batch I've got. Uh, warehouse AN barrel 60-4N and for £50 or indeed significantly below that it's just insane it's not cash strength like the rare breed but I've had a couple of bottles of rare breed or tried a couple of samples I should say and the variation on them was, was pretty big uh, some of them I thought were okay some of them I thought were incredible some of them I thought were just okay again every time I've had four rows of single barrel in a bar at a friend's house the second bottle of this I'm drinking. It's just so good. Like it's insanely good. And I'm really not sure how they can keep managing to kick it out at the price which they kick it out at. But there we go. Whiskey of the year. Four rows of single barrel. Right here, right now. I'm gonna go and pour quite a large glass of this in this lovely little holiday home in Wales. And indeed, I'll see you all next year because 2023 is gonna be an interesting year. A lot of the comments I had from that whiskey in 2022 video were really interesting um, and by all means I'll repeat what a lot of the comments said I ended up just dipping into my own stash of stuff because a lot of offerings this year just weren't really up to par um, or they were too expensive or both in some cases there were some shining lights but most of the time it was just 2022 seemed to be tinged with just a little bit of disappointment in most bottlings not all but most but yes, I sincerely look forward to seeing you all in 2023 and some of the fun music, I was going to say music videos, but some of the fun videos I've got lined up for you all to see. But yes, pour yourself a large glass or something. Congratulations, you made it through another year. And bar means here's to whiskey, here's to the future. And I'll see you all soon. Cheers.